Mate, he's not Diamond. Like, he might be Diamond, but he's well better than Diamond. I would say he's, like, the way he plays in, in ones, mechanically, he's, like, a champ two player. Like, I, he's got really good awareness. Uh, yeah, there's no way he's a Diamond. Or if he's Diamond, he shouldn't be there. What is up guys, it's Eclipse Skills here and today we are back with another Rocket League video. And today guys, this is absolutely insane, I still can't believe this happened. This is the story about how live on Twitch, I, ver I went head to head in a 1v1 versus a season 10 GC and almost beat him. Um, so this was streamed live on Twitch um, at a channel called Philip B. So make sure to check him out and follow him. He was spectating the game. It was me versus this season 10 GC called Instinct in his tourney. It was absolutely insane. Um, I still can't believe how well I did. And um, yeah, this is how it went. This is by far my best 1v1 game. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. So the game starts off with not really anything happening for a bit, but then I managed to get a solid dribble and a solid flick to secure the first goal of the game, which is a really good start for me, and um, my confidence is pretty high at this point. Unfortunately though, he gets a really solid kickoff and he ends up getting a kickoff goal, squaring up the game back to 1-1, which is unfortunate, but hey, it's early days and um, it's not really anything. Um, so on this kickoff, he ends up winning it again, but it goes over to my corner, which gives me time to get the corner boost and set up an attack. But surprise, surprise, he's right there in the corner and um, he's put, applying the pressure. And this catches me off guard, so he ends up getting another goal. So here on this kickoff, I didn't really think anything was going to happen. I just went for it as normal, but um, I unfortunately for me, he fakes it and he gets time to set up an attack. So I have to get back to defend, but thankfully he misses the ball, which gives me time to set up a dribble. I fake jump to try and make him um, do something, but he's a GC, so he read it. I go along the wall, trying to keep the ball close to my car, but fail, and he ends up getting a few solid air dribble touches to clear it away from my net. He goes for an early shot, but I end up cutting him off, and the ball is unfortunately bouncing in front of my goal. I panic, miss the ball, but he misses the open net as well, so I'm all fine. He touches it along the wall, giving me a really solid setup for a ceiling shot double touch. But he ends up reading it really well and um, clears it away before it hits the backboard. And he goes to set up an open net by touching it off the corner wall. But I read this pretty easily and get back and touch it away to get an open net goal. Now my confidence was really high. I am now tied with the GC and I am very, very confident that I could get an upset win despite being the underdog. So I end up getting a really solid kickoff, bounce on my car, get an early flick, easy peasy, and uh, end up scoring the goal to make it 3-2 to me against the GC. So on this kickoff again, um, he wins it and he goes for that boost. And um, I have to recover before he can shoot. Thankfully I do. He clears it away. Um, I try to chase him, keeping on the pressure. Um, but unfortunately nothing really happens. I try to take it to the wall across the net but it doesn't really work, so he intercepts it, gets a few air dribble touches, almost gets the goal, but thankfully I get a clutch save. And um, I go for an early shot, try to catch him off guard, but it really doesn't work, and he ends up getting a goal from my mistake. Back to free all. So on this kickoff again, um, I'm just thinking to myself, I can still win this, you know, there's still a chance. So he wins it this time, and he decides to get my corner boost and go for a really, really solid air dribble. Gets a few touches, narrowly avoids my bump and he gets the goal. I was really, really frustrated at this because I really thought I had the ball, but don't let it affect me too much and I just try to continue with the game. Again, he wins the kickoff. Um, his kickoffs are way more solid than mine and um, he ends up getting a really solid 50 and um, gets the goal again which is really unfortunate for me, and he's now five feet up. So on this kickoff again, he ends up faking it, and I'm pretty annoyed at this, but I'll just have to bear with it. He gets a really solid boom to the corner, and the bounce catches me off guard, and he gets a nice touch into the goal to make it six three to him, 
with two minutes left. So how do you ask that I keep this to my favour? You'll just have to wait and see. So he gets a really solid kickoff again and decides not to go for the open net and decides to go in freestyle. He tries a ceiling pinch but fails and now I'm in a really good spot here. Look at this. He has zero, two boost here to zero and he's facing towards going back to net and I am here with 90 boost and a bounce. So you already know that what I had to do. Again, leaves this one for a clip. He's going to go up for the dribble. He thinks he's got time. I don't think he has. The shot comes in. Double touch. Not quite there. And it's a miss. So unfortunately, I missed the double tap. And I was maybe a bit too cocky going for that. But now it's time to defend his ceiling shot. Thankfully, he doesn't really do anything with it. He misses the flip and I get an attack. But unfortunately, I do a really heavy touch. Forcing me to go for a doomsy dish. But he cuts it off in time. And it's time for me to go back and defend. So after he touches it here, he decides to put the ball in his car and play it slow. But thankfully, I get a really solid bump. Um, I go to clear it, but I miss, and he touches it right to me, luckily, and I get a dribble set up on the hood of my car. I have much boost, so I flick it early, and he reads it really well, and it looks like I get a really bad recovery here, but out of nowhere, before he gets the open net, I come in with the save, and um, he goes up to get a solid air dribble. But um, thankfully for him, he sort of messes it up, and I get another save, um, keeping the game not too far out of reach before the clock gets out so i put it on top of my car this time and i decided to go round him with a fake but um unfortunately he reads it and he decides to go up for a ceiling shot and he goes for the musty flick after that but thankfully it's not too threatening and i can clear a way to set up another attack i bet it on the hood of my car do a double jump and get the goal to make it 4-6 with 37 seconds left on the clock. So here I am, 6-4 down with 37 seconds to go. I really need a good kickoff here, but unfortunately, um, it doesn't really go too well for me. He ends up getting a really solid bounce, and he does this. That was insane. I did not see it coming. That was literally the best shot of the game. Um, it was so good, so powerful, and 7-4 um, down with 27 seconds to go. So as per usual, he wins the kickoff here and he doesn't go for the ball, which gives me time to set up an attack. So I bounce it once here, take the shot, and unfortunately for him, it bounces off the crossbar and hits his car while he was trying to save it. So here it is, 5-7 with 16 seconds left. And um, this is what happens. I get a really, really solid kickoff here, thankfully, and I end up getting a kickoff goal. And I, I'm, I'm just so happy right here i'm ready to win this game i'm ready to get the upset win and my my confidence is just so so high now i know i could win this since epic skill sorry has to make a move he's got to try for this dribble he's been doing it all game hang on a minute is he going for it he's gone up to the ceiling he's down he's gonna try and musty into the goal it's not gonna happen no that is g g if he'd pulled that off, that would have been the comeback of the match. Well, the whole, out of everything. It would have been insane. Well played, man. So, yeah. After risking it all with a ceiling shot musty flick, I unfortunately get beaten 7-6 to six by the Season 10 GC. So, yeah, I'm pretty gutted here, but I know I played really, really well. And I'm actually real come to realise that I'm very, very happy to play that well against the GC. So that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to go follow Philip B on Twitch and make sure to watch back the video from his perspective or check out his future streams. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all later and have a great day.